going to share with you today something rather different for me. I was preparing for the course I'm doing next year on Niagara on the Lake in Canada and I was drawing this picture of this beautiful gazebo by the lake and it wasn't planned but when I'd finished it I realised that it actually not used fountain pen at all because of the softness of the subject and the light, the evening light and all the white. I'd started with blues for trees and white for the gazebo and kept it soft like that and the only sharp blacks are just an occasional one in there and in here with a very fine black kind of ballpoint pen. So I'm just going to do a little demo to show how you might like to try something like that as a lead into things. So first of all, let me collect together some of the things I know I'm going to be needing. I like to collect a selection of things before I start because doing it that way means I won't lose the flow once I'm into it. I hate really being in the zone and then I have to stop and rummage for something. I hate that. So here we are. We've got quite a few things there. Bits and pieces. Let's find a few more. And oh yes. Think dark blue if I can find one, yes, that will do. Or even that. That one I'm quite sure until I start. And I do want a cream of some sort, a very pale cream. That's a greeny colour, which will do. That's a sharper white. And I think that will give us a start. Yes, may not use all those but there they are and I'm going to put them all on here and use them oh dear, as the new starts. There they are, they're all there on the printing tray and off we go. Now I know the gazebo is white but I'd like to start it that's what I'm going to draw, the gazebo and the moving. I'm going to draw the gazebo and just the edge of that, that little bit there, just some of it anyway. Just a short demo. Now, sitting it here quietly. This is a Holbein artist pencil. I found myself lately using these more and more because they have a thicker lead and they are rounder and bigger than the Caran d'Ache. That's a Caran d'Ache. That's a Holbein. Look at the difference. I love them. Yes. This is just allowing me to set the scene of this gazebo. Drawing it, the structure of it really. Because it has to be right. Now once I've got that in, I can measure, if I put that there you can see, once I've got that in, I can measure from there to there. That tells me where that should be. There we are. And now we're away. That's a broader one because it's in the centre. There we are. And that one is going slightly curved. Check the angle there to there. There we are. And it just slightly goes down like that. 
and there and there there we are and in the back we have another strut there now once I've got that I've got the main structure I want to see where that is so I measure from there to there and there's a lovely angle goes up like that, perhaps not quite so much, about there. And that's the kind of, that's setting the scene. Now when I've done that, I usually test on the back of my book. So let's just test that this is working. No, it's a good job I tested. Now we are. So now I can actually make this count. We can get this in. No fountain pen, no pencil. I was distracted there, that was slightly too low down, but it doesn't matter. that goes down like that a little bit wider and up and slightly foreshortened there that one's farther away so it's a little bit thinner and there we are and there we are and there we are and there we are and there we've got a few other things happening which I'm going to draw. There's a house there with a sort of curved and another one underneath like that. All adds interest. There we are. It's already setting the scene and this makes it more interesting. These are panels within the white. All makes it more interesting. Now before we do any more I'm looking at the roof and actually it's a kind of purpley blue. I'm just looking to see if I have a purpley, purpley blue. I do have one somewhere that's a little, a little bit more. Can you see that's just slightly more purpley. Now Looking at the angle of that, nice sweep on that, yes that's better, and it comes about there, there we are, and to that one, let's get this side right there first, this is a white that's actually not very sharp, I can't do with pencils that aren't sharp. See, that was a different blue and it doesn't show up. That's better. And there we are. Now we've got our gazebo. Now, if we use a dark blue or a black, this is a black coloured pencil, I can just put in the back of there like that. As soon as you do that, that gives a feeling of depth. It's not all the same. Through there as well. Behind there too. In there, in there, and there. It comes up there because it's going round. And behind here, these are buildings. 
They're not going to stay back black, they're going to have a, a bluey cast to them as well. But this is setting the scene very quickly. And no fountain pen, no fountain pen drawing. There are trees behind as well. This is a roof there. Very quickly, and here, obviously more houses, you can't really see what's happening, but you've got this impression of darkness there. And we will make it darker still very shortly. Now, and behind there, where it comes behind, that's also dark there, so we've got the feeling of dark. Now, now we're going to use a blue coloured pencil. I'm going to use this Holbein Artist Blue, which is lovely. Now, if you work with that on top of there, look how much richer that black becomes. I'm also going to do the lines on there. Now the tree in the back, I love drawing trees and this is a winter tree and it goes round like that. You draw the arch of the tree and I'm going to get a couple of different blues for this to draw them with. Go from there up to the top and just let your hand trail across and the branches can stop right at the top. A little bit of black in there as well, but that's a very dark blue actually. Here we've got another tree. There's the arc of the tree. And we've got trees going through there as well. A little bit there. And some blue in here too. some brighter blue there. The actual roof was a brighter blue, so there we are. Not colouring at all in, and now a touch of that. Whenever I've got a colour in my hand, I always say, where else can it go? So we'll do a little bit of blue in these as well. And here, and further over there, and not colouring all of this in, just getting a feeling of it. I'm going to do the panels whiter I'm being very quick with this because it's just a little beginning now I want to show you how the feeling of light can come now now around here where the buildings are Lining them like this. I'm not outlining that, that I am 
and the sun is setting here. So that's that, that's the brightness of that. And this is lighter. It's not working very well on top of the coloured pencil. But you can live with that. There we are. Now, in here behind, I want to use a very pale, the sky was greeny and lit and very pale. So there we are. Let's put some of this now. You see where the trees are? I'm going between there. Behind there, behind there. Just getting the feeling, beginning to get the feeling of light. And because this is grass, it's just a touch of it in there. And the edge of there. And there were some more trees, which we won't have time to do, but they big go beyond there. And then a very, very pale blue. There we are. Oh yes, that's a lovely pale blue. You see how that works with the green beautifully. And you can pick it up in other places like that. And on the edge of here. And a little bit of there, not too much. Touch in there and in there. I can't resist having a little bit of extra in there. No. Here, you can see the light. Oh, now look at that. Again, a Holbein gold and yellow. And you start putting this in, especially over the white. And straight away, you get this feeling of it being lit and at night. You've got that feeling already. I want some orange in with there. Whoa. There we are. Because it was very orangey. Oh, that gives it a real flavour, does that? Yes. Some orange down there at the far end of there. But you can see how the atmosphere of this is beginning to grow. In there, touch in there in here in the trees like that down there and where the light is really hitting the Peter Pauper can stroke over the top of it like that and if I put some little there are some lights down here one or two in there as well and when the yellow goes on top of there it makes such a difference Let's just put that now over there and over some of these whites and you'll see how it really starts to glow. And the yellow on there makes that green without actually doing green. 
Now the, the black ball point is actually a Tule Jour, very fine pen. It was a gift for me and that is perfect for this. Either that or um, a very fine Yeah, that will do. This was a gift, Winsor and Newton, very fine one. That's perfect, actually. That will just give us a very fine edge to that, and the black there, and there. This is drawing over this beautifully, actually, which many things wouldn't. I can draw in with that with a thicker one, I think. You can see that's already delineated that, and that's the same. That can delineate that in there like that. And down at the far end. Is struggling a little bit but managing and there there we are and here little bits of dark like that and just the occasional dark tree struggling a little bit but managing. A fine liner would be good if you've got a very fine liner for this. And here we actually have a lamp and because it's black it shows up there like that. And this one was a dark blue. This tree was a darker blue so I'm going to put that in blue like that and make some of those a little bit darker and that's the pathway coming through like And there's some dark on the other side of there. Let's just get that in like that. A little bit there. Actually, they should have been blue. But these are, we've got some dark trees looking through like that. That helps. Yes, that's better. And again, that side, there you are, and there. That's dark there. And that gives a feel. Going to stop in a minute because I'm only just giving you a just a little taste, just a little taste. Let's just get that in whiter. I want that to be white too. Diagonal lines help. Tremendously. A little bit of light on there. And where the sun is setting, in the light rather, it's lighter there. It comes between those trees, like that, and between those trees, like that. And then the road comes round again, which is paler. But that gives a feel. And uh, if we want to make that really white, we 
can use a chalk marker which can just give a touch of real white there if we want it. And there where the light is as well. And last of all, this is a, a Bible highlighter, Peter Pauper. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in because it's really bright. It's like a transparent kind of thing that you can lay over things without it being too strong, but it just gives an extra layer. think that will do. And that was too, that was not quite right, but that's all right now. Just extend that a little bit. Just a, quite, just a little more, oh, that's better. Just a little more turquoise. 